Folks, don't try this at home. Got this piece of plywood here. The boys are using beer cans to build a solar water heater so Eugene can get himself a hot shower. Now see, these, these rows of cans are going to have switchbacks. And the water will come in on that end. It'll travel down this tube. And it'll switch back all the way back and forth. So we got to make sure we have a small space in between each one. It's real important as we place these can rows on the plywood that we keep a real small gap. That's kind of, that acts as an insulator so the cold water can't draw heat away from the warmer water going down through the system. And I guess we got enough room for 12 rows of cans. Now that the cans are dry, Spencer and Eugene mount them on a sheet of plywood. Aluminum is real good at conducting heat, so the solar energy heated through the cans is transferred to the water passing through. Now I gotta get the tubing that connects them together. I found a piece of smashed flex pipe on the side of the road. I'm gonna use that as the elbows that go on the ends of the pipes. These have gotta go up inside those holes and we have to seal it up so that the water you know, flows from one pipe to another. This one goes that way. Once the cans are wired down, the water heater is good to go. You're not seriously going to find that, are you? Yep. Now it's time to put it in place. The worst that can happen is you fall. We're putting my solar heater up on top of the roof on the back porch, and I'm doing that because it's out in direct sunshine all day long. If you could just get me that. And because it has that pitch to it, the gravity will help the water flow from the top and down out through the bottom. Whole mountain creeks rarely get above 60 degrees in the summer. This solar heater ought to be able to heat up water more than 100 degrees, which is just about right for a nice warm shower. I've got a good sized creek that runs down below my cabin, so if I can get the water down there up to where my cabin is, I'll be set. We could just head over the little ridge to the big water. Now that they got the solar water heater up, the boys are going to need to use a little bit of ingenuity to figure out a way to bring the water up from the creek. Yeah, if we could just drop down and then head over the little ridge to the big water. We got a nice deep pool right here. We can put the pipe down in it. Eugene's plan is to use a series of pipes operated by a ram pump that doesn't use electricity to get the water from the creek up to his house. I'm going to get this pipe underwater. That's it. It's sucking really hard. It's about to take my finger off. Hey, I'm gonna go get the ram pump. Gene's Creek is a couple hundred feet away from his house and downhill, so we're gonna just reuse a ram pump that we built for another mining project years ago. The boys built the ram pump when they were prospecting for gems and had to get water from the creek up to a digging spot. And we're gonna see if we can make it work here to get water up to his house. I'll find a stick and brace this thing up sideways. Ram pumps are a good way to move water uphill because they don't need electricity or fuel. Ram pumps work by harnessing the force of moving water. A ram pump is a two-valve operating system, and it relies on building up a certain amount of pressure, and then it kicks into gear, and it forces that water that's building up pressure out through a smaller diameter, but with higher pressure. So it can actually go against gravity and go uphill.